So TCG Madness has taken over the server, it seems, to the point to where it's almost hard to get anything else done. I mean, look, right now there's a match going on down there. It looks like between Doc and Scar and Jevin spectating. Just can't get enough. Cannot get enough. And today we are going to, uh, we're going to get ourselves into a match or two as well. But I do feel like before we do... We should probably try to be a little bit productive here on the server. Oh, somebody's shooting at me. What's going on? <laughs> Take a shot. They, I guess they, they saw me uh, sneak peek into what they got going on here. Anyway, I don't want to spoil their match, but uh, it is so much fun. It makes sense. Beef put together this amazing trading card game, and we're all addicted. Like, almost every hermit is addicted to collecting cards. Ooh, that's going to be good for Doc, whatever that is. <laughs> we're all addicted to collecting cards. And getting together and playing these games so what i'm gonna do is i'll post my full matches that i do on my second channel impulse sv2 so that if you want to see the full extended matches you can go over there and see them for yourselves and in these videos i'll try to do my best to edit them down to just kind of the best bits or the highlights or whatever and then they'll still be enjoyable if you're not into the longer form tcg content but like i said before we get into that i do want to actually Get something done, you know, it is, and we got a lot of projects going on. We got, you know, we got the industrial district, we got our Dwarven Keep, we've got iBuy, we've got all the things. And I need to at least accomplish something because, you know, work before play, you know, so we're going to go get a little bit of work done. So I got to come clean. I need to admit something to you all. I apparently am a very bad YouTuber. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I, uh, I didn't do a great job of capturing footage getting content out of some of the live streams i've been doing lately where i have made a fair bit of progress around here in the industrial district you can see the cactus farm is actually back up and running we've got it feeding into this guy now which is heading over to the smelter machine so that that's getting done and all the output from the smelter is actually going into the system here look at this we got some popped chorus fruit making its way into our massive storage that uh, we designed last episode and it's all getting sorted in there now this track that i put in a little bit in the way I, I used to like being able to go through that corner but yeah you can see here we are starting to store the goodies doesn't look like any full shulker boxes have been filled just yet but once they are they'll make their way in there and yeah we've connected up a bunch more things so slowly but surely just just chipping away at this but yeah i didn't do a thing do the, the youtuber thing where like during the stream i i stopped the stream and i record a clip for youtube instead i just i just kind of played minecraft you know on stream and here we are it's gonna just have to be okay that we're, we're it's done now and this is more of a show and tell so i just wanted to show you guys this just so you knew that i was chipping away at this huge massive project and i want to show you from above this actually looks pretty cool. The cactus farm there, we tuck it, tucked it in as tight as we could and reused this waterway that was already there for the chorus flower farm. So that actually looks pretty good. I, I kind of want these things to be close together. It's going to look awesome when everything's said and done. I've been addicted <laughs> to this area. It's, I've been having so much fun, fun building the farms and getting the storage together and hooking everything up, getting it to, to basically be one functioning unit. And I, I kind of forgot about, you know, the fact that I have another big project, which is the Dwarven Keep. So I, I've, I actually got some work done over there as well. I've been, I've been busy, just not so good at recording YouTube clips. All right, today is the day I am going to finish this episode once and for all. Wait, what's the problem? Why isn't it connecting? Hmm, everyone was having some internet issues. Well, I guess now's a good time to go get that cup of coffee. A few minutes later. Ooh, look at that. There's six people on the server now. Can't wait to join and see what they're up to. Let's go. Oh, come on, still? Really? Well, maybe this is one of those times where I'm going to need ExpressVPN to fix my connection. You see, sometimes these internet issues are caused simply because of the route your traffic has chosen to take to get from your computer to the server you're trying to access. And by using ExpressVPN's simple-to-use software, you can actually reroute that connection through one of their many available VPN servers, and bam, your bad connection is solved. And it won't even slow down your internet speeds. Another nice perk of having ExpressVPN is that you can unlock regional-based content. For instance, I've been itching to watch the hit TV series The Office, but found it's not available here on Netflix in the US. And I was able to tunnel my data through a server in Canada, and there it is. Just the entertainment I need while living my dwarven lifestyle. 
So if you have the connection issues like I do, or you want to unlock region-based content while protecting yourself with the VPN I trust to keep me private online, consider trying ExpressVPN. As a gift to all of you, my amazing viewers, you can get three months of ExpressVPN for free by visiting expressvpn.com slash impulse. I'll put a link in the description for you below, and you can tap that and start protecting yourself today. Now let's get back to some Hermitcraft. So here we are in the Dwarven Keep, and you can see what I've done is all these little corners that were showing the back bits are have now been covered up with just black concrete. And the reason I've done this is I want to create a bit of a canvas right here. I didn't want anything too much, too much design. We got enough of that going on. I just wanted kind of a blank slate so that I can look at it and think what would actually fit inside there. And after thinking about it and seeing how these turned out, I decided... I think I want to get some armor stand magic going on. So I'm going to have to hit up Cleo. She's not online right now. I'll be looking for her and see if she wants to come in. Because you guys know Cleo is a master at the armor stand's art, basically. So if she could put something kind of like dwarf-like, dwarven-like in each one of these windows. I think we'll leave those ones open because they got the lanterns in them. But each one of these, we have a little like scene basically, or just like a, a statue dwarf holding a cool sword or, you know, stuff like that. I'll let Cleo come up with the good ideas there because that's what she's good at. So I think I'll have her come in and do that. That'll add a lot more flair to this place, a lot more character and start to give it more of a lived in vibe. And also I've been looking at all of these, right? All these arches. We of course have one on each cardinal direction. And I realized it's just, it's terrible looking through there and seeing all that ugliness. So what I tried to do is hide it a little bit with with water curtains and kind of works kind of I mean it's it's semi blocks it, it's kind of like a it's kind of like real curtains you know that aren't like blackout ones in in real life where you could still kind of see through them but at least it waters it down a little bit P pun in, uh, pun intended <laughs> Uh, so I put that there. I'm uh, this isn't permanent. That's why I wanted to do water because it's not permanent I want to actually mimic this this turned out so good I'm happy with it, but I don't want it to be just a direct copy of that over there back there and there Yeah, I want every one of them to have a little bit difference to them and Peekaboo <laughs> What? What? <laughs> How'd that happen? Uh, do we have that on this side too? No, apparently we have the wrong block there. Okay, I'll fix that. But here's what I'm thinking. So we are in the Dwarven Keep here, and the Dwarves, they like to dig, right? They like to mine. They like to gather the, the precious minerals that they find as they're digging. And of course, as we look down, you can see uh, there's some iron down there. Uh, sometimes we'll see diamonds, redstone. What else? What else is down there? We can get some lapis. There's some lapis. Okay, I knew there was some down there. Gold, of course. All these good things get dug up as we keep digging down and down and down. So what if each one of these wings represented one of the minerals? So this one, right, we could just go with, with copper. We've kind of got this orange copper look in here. And we can kind of like bring that in here a little bit more. So maybe replace the gold and put some copper in and maybe find ways to pile up little copper piles here and there. So that this represents like, this is the copper wing basically. And then we can then take that gold out and put it over there, make that the gold wing and kind of do the same thing with gold decoration. And then maybe that one will be the, I don't know, iron doesn't really look that great. So maybe we'll do lapis over there. And then finally, uh, the grand one would be diamonds, right? So just deck it out with diamonds. That'd be pretty sweet. So I'm thinking that's how we do it. And then basically each tunnel has a bit of a purpose. Like it's meant to lead off into the area where the dwarves are mining out that specific mineral. And of course, there is one other thing that we need to do with this tunnel right here. And that is find a way to hook it up to gems area. Now we've got this open right here, but if I do build this out the way I've been talking about, it's gonna come back just a little bit here, and then we need to figure out a way to kind of go up and out. So I'm gonna work with Gem a little bit, see what we can come up with idea-wise. But of course, this is another big undertaking. If I think back to how long it took me to just build up this little bit right here, I mean, it, we were talking multiple hours, uh, probably half a day at least, maybe a full day of building because it is so intricate. So I got that ahead of me, and I don't think I'm going to do it this episode because honestly, I'm 
it's been a while since the last episode because I've been so busy playing some TCG. So, but blame Beef for making such an amazing game. <laughs> but we did get some progress done and we are chipping away at our major projects here. Uh, and meanwhile, we're finding a way to get together and have some fun. So I'll show you one of my favorite matches that I've played so far. And that was against Joe Hills. It got intense. I'm ready to go. You ready, oh. Doc? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. No, uh, I was gonna <laughs> say impulse. Realistically, I played Jev and Doc and like Pearl, and I have lost like my last three or four games. If you want a relatively <laughs> competitive fight, you have a shot at killing me. Okay, uh, let's do it. So to start the game, I played Doc as active and myself and Tango as AFK, and then Joe played Mumbo as his active hermit and Zed as AFK. I attacked first with 40 damage, and then we attacked each other. Joe dealt 50, I dealt 70, but Joe, you see, he had a trick up his sleeve. I am going to feed him this delicious golden apple. Oh, wow. Apple a day keeps 77 doctors away. Actually, no, it just wow. gives him 100 extra health. Wow. Uh, so 260 what? health on Mumbo That's now. That's nuts. Okay, then Spoon for 80 damage, bringing Doc from oh, no. 210 down to 130. Again, you really don't have a lot else you can do, so you probably just want to attack Mumbo again. Yeah, we'll hit 70. Spoon with another 70. All right. Yeah. You, you okay. kind of get in the No more golden there, apples, or? though. Impulse, I'm going to let you take a look at this real quick. That's a he's mean there. card. He's going to get his. He's oh, going to get one, his. Uh, one, 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 one. Sorry. He's yeah. going to get his golden apple back and then play it on Mumbo again. But you he don't can't know that. No, I could I pull any card from my discard <laughs> pile. Any oh, of the discarded yeah. cards could be going back in. You have There's no idea. What, what, what do you mean? Pull. You got to ultra your You have apple. no idea. You're absolutely which one I'm getting the golden apple. Rude. <laughs> so then I'm going to attack with Spoon for 80 damage, okay. bringing Doc down to 50. So I had to make a decision bench Doc and lose a turn or sacrifice him and give Joe a victory point. So oh, I'm just, this is going to be a nice and simple, straightforward turn. Spoon for 80. All right. So that's going to be a 70 off of Mumbo. Okay, taking him down to 120. I'm going to go ahead and have Mumbo eat this delicious oh. second apple. Uh, <laughs> Joe, increasing his relax. Health up to 220. Relax. <laughs> Look at him. The Look at him beating match, up the new guy. guy. Look at him beating the up the new match. guy. You know, you don't need to spoon feed me, but I am going to spoon feed you 80 damage. Oh, Boom. No. Lower okay. that to 140. Um, yeah. Well, hat trick, 70 off. Okay, so I'm going to uh, put an additional Mumbo on the board AFK. Uh -oh. I am going to have Mumbo attack with spoon for 80, bringing the active tango down to 60 health. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and pop an extra one. Give that tango an mm -hmm. item card as well. Sweet. There we go. Okay. Oh, that's, okay. That's ready. We're so... going to hit you with another 70. I'm going to place this farm card on Zadaf here, okay. which will unlock his second attack, Haja, since that's a um, you know wild card there. And then I am going... Well, I'm just going to attack with Spoon for 80, Perfect. which will knock out Tango. Of course, I had to get revenge. You can't let him get away that easy. I am going to play an effect card... That is yeah. called Curse of Binding. O opposing active hermit can knock go AFK on the following turn. Discard after you single use item. Yeah. Oh no, I'm trapped. You trapped. Yeah. No, M Mumbo so. can't go AFK ever again. All right, and then I get to hit him, right? I get to hit him with the uh, yeah, yeah. The, 70 the 70 from Tango. Yes, okay. sir. So now I'm you're down to, down to 10, 10 on the Mumbo, but you can't go anywhere. Nope, he's stuck there. So he's I'm going to get my first goner. kill ever. Yep, sir. Yes, Woo! sir. So okay. I'm gonna bring out pretty this good, uh, rare Asuma and attach a redstone to him. Uh-huh. Yo, you Just know you want to be friendly and not attack with Spoon, right? I, I you know, I, I really don't have a choice. What? I have to attack with uh, that. <laughs> he's, so, he's 80, stuck. so from 300, that's gonna mean 220 remain. Probably put Doc on the board, Nave. Yeah, let's go ahead and get him up like that. So I'm gonna I'm just hit him with the uh, the hat trick from Tango, 70. All right, I'll issue And that'll take out the Mumbo. Victory point for impulse. Victory! Uh, All right, now I get a new card, card, right? Yeah, you got... Star, okay, that's not so bad. Okay, and I'm going to uh, bring out... I guess this is a here. Let's see, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this lead here to move this redstone off Tango uh, and onto impulse here. <laughs> I'm going to attack with Haja for 70, bringing mm -hmm. you down to 150. 
All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get Tango back up to speed there since you moved my item. Uh, and I'm also going to play some Thorns effect. Joe, I'm gonna move ZF's uh, Redstone. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Look and, at how quickly you're learning. And I'm um, gonna um, put um. it on this mumbo here. And we're gonna attack with Tango for hat trick 70 right now. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to Isuma. And I draw a card and end my turn. So we'll just hit again with yeah. the uh, with the the hat trick on on. Uh, well, now it's gonna be on Azuma. So 70 off of the 280. So <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna play a splash potion of healing on my side of the board, uh, which gives anybody who's taken damage on my side an extra 20 health. So Zadaf is gonna go back up to 200. Okay. And Azuma is gonna go up to 230. So then I'm going to say, goodness me, and attack with 60, bring in Tango down to 90. I don't have much else to do other than just hit you again with the the hat trick. I think I'm going to risk the Tango card, too, because you're not hitting back with more than 60 at the moment. Maybe a little bit more okay. if you get to 80, but so yeah. So hat trick is 70, another so 70 from off. 230, that's 160 remains, I think. I'm going to go ahead and attack. That's with... actually very good. That's really helpful. I'm going to attack with goodness may for another 60 damage. Bring in this Tango Tech down to 30. Woo. Okay. Do we sacrifice Tango? I think I might need to, to uh, give up my turn too in order to not yeah. lose Tango. So I'm going to put... Is it time for Impulse to come into the battle? I believe so. I think I'll put Impulse in the game and give up my turn. And after this point marks the most brutal match of TCG. I mean, even Doc was surprised. Oh boy, I don't love that. I don't we like do. thorns. Um, <laughs> luckily, this single use bow card isn't gonna be used to attack impulse. This is 40 damage to an opposing AFK. Hermit. Oh no, oh, I you still I take Tango out. I shouldn't have given I up couldn't my turn. have used that to attack See, Tango while he was active. Uh, I couldn't have that's like, what I was, added that. That was, a, that was what, I, what I was saying Yeah, before, just right? go for so it, let him get it, right? Yeah, uh, lose a and... turn and still lose the card. But it's Come a gamble. On. I mean, yeah. if he wouldn't have had it, it would have been a good move. But then yeah. still, right, if he gets it later, like if yeah. you have Hermit's AFK so... under 40 health, you got to be careful. Yeah. You know, they can so be yeah. sniped. He was in a bad but situation that regardless. Then I'm going to go yeah. ahead and use Goodness Me on Impulse. So I do still take 10 damage. That brings Isuma down to 150. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to use the Curse of Binding, uh, which prevents you from taking your player AFK after this turn, right? But I wanted to go AFK after this turn. I figured you might. You're I figured so you mean. might, but you don't get to now. Okay. And uh, I'm going to hit you with another 70, right? Oh, boy. For okay. the uh, Impulse so, Eye attack. It's back to me. Uh, okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play this Etho. And then I am going to use the Curse of Vanishing Book, which oh, makes wow. any effect attached wow. to the active No, army. you didn't. Go oh, bye bye. Ooh. That just <laughs> saved him. No way. Oh, the okay. goes your thorns. What? Uh, okay. And then I am going to attack with goodness me. For 60, bringing you down to uh, 130 here. Uh, we'll do another 70 on Azuma, get him down to 10. I'm going to place this Doc M rare, and then I'm going to attach a farm card to yeah, him. Dang it. Check this You're one so out. tall, Doc, I can't reach. This one. Uh, so I need 280 for Doc here. Boy, I, I think that my Azuma is going to retreat and Doc is gonna come out. I will draw a card and end my turn. All right, uh, I am going to play this crossbow. I got a, a crossbow single use. It does 40 hit points to uh, of damage to any uh, to the opposing hermit who's active, and an AFK hermit of my choice. Ten. Health points. <laughs> wow! So uh, good shot. I think Isuma. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll I'll think I'll choose Ooh. Azuma's uh, with Did the you? ten health left there. Yeah. Right, I'll I'll issue that. That. I'll okay, issue don't forget about the uh, don't forget about the forty off and of 40 Doc, off Doc plus oh, seventy good. on my impulse eye attack. 
I am going to immediately attach this farm card to Doc here. Um, two, then, two. Close match, man. <laughs> then I am going to use this flint and steel, which allows me to discard my entire hand in order One to One of the better cards in the cards. game right there. <laughs> then I'm going to attack you with World Eater for 80. Here's the thing, Impulse, about World Eater. Is if Ooh. I flip a... When I flip a coin, it'll either be green and double or red and half. Oh, okay. this could be it. If he gets so, green, it's GG. I didn't red. see... No, oh, it failed. I didn't see 40. particles. What? Oh, that was you got to turn your particles on. It was red. Okay. They're on. So, okay. that's, so you're, you're at 90. Uh, so I got lucky there. Wow. You got lucky there. So I'm going to use right. a lead that's going to oh. allow me to move one of your active hermit cards to any of the other AFK guys. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to take your dock down, back down to to 40, right? So now you don't get that yep. special effect. Yep, that's correct. Right. Unless I have another farm I can play next And round. let's see. You, let's you put it on uh, let's let's put it on Etho. Yeah, yeah. I'll keep impulse in the game. And uh, we'll we'll tack for 70 again. I'm very fortunate that one of the cards I drew was an additional oh. farm. Oh my god. No. And oh. I've got an item here called the Golden Axe, which does oh, no. plus 40, 40 HP damage. Oh, no. That's it. I think that's so game. I'm going to do 40 plus. No. Let's flip a coin here. 40 nope. plus 40. You have 10 oh, health my god. No way. Oh, no. 10 no. health left. What a game. I'm going to figure out why I can't see particles. <laughs> I'll Our take buddy. your word for it that it was red. Woo! Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, that was lucky. You, yeah, that was lucky. Pretty much so forced, I'm gonna draw a card uh, and switch end my now. Turn. Yeah. yeah. Pretty sure you gotta switch now. Yeah, I'll put the redstone on uh, onto Etho. Yeah. And then I think you would be better off maybe switching to Etho. I think so too. Yeah. 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 Better chance to unlock more. Yep. Okay. And then that's Ooh, my that's my turn done, right? And I don't get to use yeah, any yeah. of these other things, so I'm not attacking. Now you gotta hope he has no bow in his hand. Really... Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give uh, our buddy Etho here an extra redstone for his farm, uh, and then I'm going to attack with World Eater. Let's flip that coin. Red could... ah forty. All right, I'm going to pop a redstone onto Etho, which now gets him so... up to blue fire. Does he have a special ability too? Or yeah. No? What is yeah. it? Uh, uh, yeah, we, flip we a coin. To, yeah, if heads, this attack moves. also burns the opponent. Does an additional 20 health points damage per turn until opponent is knocked out. Going AFK does not eliminate the burn. Alright, so we're going to put a uh, Lava Bucket rare on Etho. And uh, burns no, the opponent. No, 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 no. It's, no, Lava Bucket a single is use, a single, right? single use. Yeah, so it you doesn't just say you single use. announce it. Wait a minute. It's, um, it says discard after using. It's, yeah. it's single use. Discard after says, use. Oh, usually use. it says single use on the on the top right. So okay. you would want to put that in the middle, just announce it, show Joe that you got it, and then. Um, and then I take discard this after okay. lock. Yeah. And then, yeah. You, go, Joe, you can take a look at that. So. Oh uh, yeah, I, I have one. I, I know how they work. Yeah. <laughs> so, but, put that in but, your so when you announce yeah, your attack there. Um. Yeah. So when you eat plus the burn damage at the end. Yeah. Yeah. You've just won the so. game. So. Yay! There you go, bud. I don't know what right. happened, but yay! Oh, impulse. <laughs> okay, impulse. Here, let me get you. Uh, here's your two uh, trading card tokens. Or Joe. No, he's fine. Did you pick him up? Yeah, I got him. I got him. Thank you. Okay, cool, cool. Well, that was my match of TCG with Joe. Let me know if you guys liked how this was edited, and drop a comment below if you want to see more TCG matches like this. Oh, that was an intense match with Joe. It literally came down to the wire. But I think in order for me to have a better chance of playing against some of the other players that have kind of gone ham with this game, like, you know, Jevin and Doc and Etho and Ren, I'm going to need to start collecting more of those tokens to buy myself some effect packs, item packs, and booster packs, hermit packs, things like that, right? To build our deck out to make a really strong one so that we can stand a chance against some of the other players that are... um. Yeah, they're they're a bit addicted. Let's just call it what it is. But yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to play and collect my cards and see if we can build up a very strong deck. I'm excited to do that. And it seems like there's always people in the arena playing. In fact, Beef built like three of them. I guess we could even play there if we needed to. But uh, we need game masters, basically the people that make sure that the rules are being followed and everybody understands what's going on. You know, the experts. Anyway, before we go, guys, I want to show you this because.
Exciting news, we've got our first occupants inside of iBuy, our first outsider shop, right? We, I've only put in two, to be honest, and they were both kind of temporary. But look at this, we've got another one gem has finally moved the Prismarine shop into iBuy. So it is in here now, and uh, it's actually stocked for the most part. So, so awesome. That's our first, you know, we're not, uh, we're not really collecting anything for this, for renting out this space. We're not looking to, to, uh, make any diamonds off of this. We just want to give people more reason to come in this building. Cause I think the more traffic that we get through, the more chance we have to, to get these like kind of walk by sales, you know, somebody's kind of leaving. They're like, oh, you know what? Actually, I could use a little bit of terracotta on my way out, you know, get those <laughs> impulse buys, right? Get it. Get it. <laughs> so that's the plan for in here. I'm going to continue to uh, rent out the space free of charge, actually, as I build up some of these other floors. And I can't wait. I can't wait. This is such a big project. And it's exciting to think about what it's going to be like when it's all said and done. But chipping away. We got to keep chipping away at it. Don't want to burn out. And that I will continue to do next episode, I suppose, because this one is getting a bit long with the TCG match in there again. Hopefully you enjoyed all that. Let me know in the comments if you did. And uh, on my second channel, there's other ones that I've played. There's another match that I played with Jem over on Impulse SV2. So make sure you go hit that up if you really like that and you want to see the full extended match. Even Joe's matches on there, uncut. If you want to see all the in-between stuff, all the strategizing in between the actual plays, that's over there as well. So make sure you go over to that channel. Hit subscribe. It's getting really close to 100,000 subscribers. So that's exciting over there too. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for me today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do that before you go. With that said, I'll see you again next time. Have a good one, everyone.